Hi, I'm Bill Russell from Coon Rapids High School. What you're looking at right now is oxyacetylene welding, specifically fusion welding, simply pushing a bead with no filler rod. If you were watching closely at the beginning, the cone was approximately an eighth inch off of the metal. The puddle, which is difficult to see here, is approximately a quarter inch in diameter. I'm doing small circles each pass or each circle, I'm moving the puddle forward by a slight amount. If you're looking at the angle of the torch, it's approximately 45 degrees. Further in the video, you will see additional views of the welding here. Here you're looking at a close-up of the puddle. If you're watching, you can see a small liquid puddle that's quarter to five sixteenths in diameter. Small little circles being done each time I come around. I'm moving the puddle forward with the torch a small amount, keeping the cone an eighth inch off the metal. Yeah. All right, we'll go ahead, light our torch, get our neutral flame, pinching an inch to two inches, feathering out, no black smoke, add our oxygen. Get our neutral flame. Okay. All right. We've got a nice clean flame here. Not feathering out to one side. We'll go ahead, hold it so that the cone is about an eighth inch off the metal, and we'll make small little circles. We'll get our puddle going. Each time we come around, we'll move that puddle forward. Looking for that puddle to be about a quarter inch in diameter, round at the back edge. If it's going pointed, means you're hot and fast. You can turn the torch angle down just a little bit to deflect some, a larger amount of the heat off. And at the end, we go just a little bit faster. There we go. Here is a close-up of the filler rod being added. Look at the rate, look at the dome shape of the puddle. We started out with that same puddle, quarter to five sixteenths in diameter, keeping it at a dome shape each time the rod is added to the front half of the puddle. When you first put the rod in, the rod is cold. It will stick, come around with the torch, heat it back up, and after that it should continue to melt each time you put that rod in. If it's balling, you're cold. Keep it dome shaped. We're going to do a filler rod bead here. We'll get our neutral flame. Add our oxygen. Okay, right when that feather disappears. There we go. rod. Notice that I'm dripping back far enough. Okay, we'll get that same puddle that we had before. There we go. Got the puddle. We'll add the rod when you first add it. It's going to want to stick. We add the rod to the front part of the puddle. We're looking for a dome shaped puddle. If the puddle is going flat, means you're hot with not enough rod. If it's balled up, just sitting on the surface, means you're cold. Need more heat in the base metal. Look at the rate that my rod is going in and out of the puddle. There we are. Okay. Here's a filler rod. Get our neutral flame without 
the shaded lens. We'll see if we can see a little bit more detail as to what I'm doing. Okay. Your goggles down. All right, we'll take our rod. We're going to go ahead and get that same puddle going. Here's our puddle. Now we'll add the rod. We're looking for a dome shape. See the rate that I'm putting the rod in and out? If the puddle is going flat, it means you're too hot with not enough rod. If it's simply balling on the surface, your base metal is too cold. 